My friend wants to ask if it is allowed to get married through video call, then the parents of the woman know about it. Can you give details? First of all, it's a contemporary issue. It's a new issue that has risen recently because up till maybe 30, 40 years ago, we did not have video calls. So this is something new. And it is also something dangerous. Imagine I go on Facebook or someone sends me a message and I open the message and I find that it is one of uh, uh, one of the girls interested in me. We chit chat, shaitan comes to me, shaitan comes to her and we chit chat for a few weeks and then we fall in love. So we decide to get married. So I can't go to her country, she cannot come to mine. So we make a video call and her father is present, two of her brothers as witnesses. I on the other end with my two friends, maybe my father, and we make a marriage contract. Her father says, I give you my daughter so-and-so in marriage. And I say, I accept her marriage to myself. The witnesses are there. Boom, we're married. Now the girl is married. All of a sudden, I change my Skype idea. I change my mobile number. She has no traces of me or my whereabouts. She says, wow, that was a scam. This sheikh was fraud. I want out of this marriage. You can't. What do you mean I can't? You can't get out of this marriage. Who will accept to give you divorce or to nullify the marriage? No judge would do that. The moment you go to a Muslim judge or a court they and complain, they say, okay, show us the marriage contract. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have any. Give me the ID of the husband. I don't have any. Passport? Whereabout? Contact number? I don't have any. Witnesses? I have two of my brothers. And Sometimes she doesn't have a brother. She only has a father. The witnesses are my friends, my relatives. So now she cannot prove anything. And she spends ages and years going from one court to the other, from one mufti to the other, to find her a way out. It's your mistake. So what to do, Sheikh? If all the parties are known to one another, and there is no possibility of identity theft. So I find a woman and she is from Southeast Asia, from Indonesia, for example. We like each other. I said, I want to get married to you. She said, okay, let me get on a conference call with my father. And someone appears to me like an elderly person. He says, yes, yes, okay, I give you my daughter in marriage. I accept her marriage. Boom done. After five, six months, I discovered that this man is not her father. She hired him to pretend that he's her father so that we can get married. The marriage is void. So a lot of similar cases take place. If a person is studying in the UK and he's from Bangladesh and his father and mother so this girl for him in their village and he knows her because she's from the same village her father knows him because he was born and raised there so when they have a conference call everybody knows everybody nobody would doubt that oh this is Sheikh Hassan because they know him and nobody doubts that uncle so-and-so is the father of the girl because I know him so many times. I've seen him, I've, I've been invited to his house. He, he hit me so many times for 
eating from his fruit trees without his permission. In this case, such uh, um, conference marriage or video marriage are legitimate and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.